I'm going to hook it up this way so that if this snaps, it doesn't fly out like that. So you hook it up from the bottom. So when you tighten the clevis up, you always tighten it snug and then back it off a half turn. Otherwise, it likes to jam. Very oh, I'll never get that guy again. Yeah. All right. So, you guys, what's the most important thing to you that, you know, it's on your body? <laughs> it's right here. Don't be doing this. <laughs> Always step walk, on it. Walk around the tree, walk around the back end of the truck. If you guys start winching a lot and they're doing competition stuff and stuff like that, put your foot on it. Hopefully you'll go for a ride. You know. <laughs> Worst case phase is it tightens up and skits you left or right. right exactly. This is... Yeah. So, so this right is trading in for a big screen. Exactly. <laughs> I, I wasn't going to say it. I knew you were going to go there. So. so this right here, this is an easy setup. You're ready to go. You're winching forward. The truck's coming forward. Um, let's say it's off a cliff. It's stuck in some serious mud. The idea behind, you worried about things? Then plug it. The idea behind this, the um, snap block or the swivel pin pulley, something or another. Simply all you do, capture it in here. <laughs> Hook it in there, or use a, uh, a swivel pin, swivel de-shackle. You'll notice on the other truck we have, there is no hook. It just comes down to aluminum uh, pole, and you use a clevis to 